Today is October 7th and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 56 degrees and sunny in Syracuse. I'm Ella Mulligan. Here's what you need to know. After party on Walnut Avenue over the weekend, Syracuse administration has reported as many as 45 new cases on campus. After the spike in cases, the school paused all non-remote events on campus indefinitely, with the exception of classes, related coursework, and intercollegiate athletics. Food service will remain open, however, gyms have closed. The Barnes Center has closed except for health-related services. Testing for any student impacted by the outbreak became available this morning at 10 a.m. This swab test will be pulled to see the overall impact of the outbreak. This pool testing will be randomized among students. Testing will continue at the Dome throughout Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day. Earlier this morning, Syracuse Department of Public Safety reported a student who was unharmed after being sexually assaulted while running through Oakwood Cemetery on campus. The suspect is a 30 to 40 year old man who had jumped out of the bushes not wearing any clothes. DPS asks anyone with information on this attack to contact the department. The vice presidential debate is tonight. Get all the news on what to expect from Pence and Harris, as well as what's to change in the debate coming up on Wednesday news. That's all the time we have today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News and check out our website at Citrus TV.